guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. If you're new here, I do makeup reviews, makeup tutorials, skincare, anything beauty related, I got you covered. Today's video is my very first nail tutorial. Um, I'm super excited to share this with you guys. I don't know if you've ever heard of a brand, it's called Maniology. They reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try some of their stamping nail kits and I was like, yes, absolutely. If you guys don't know, I always do my nails. I enjoy doing my nails. It's kind of like my my me time, my therapy. Everybody knows, okay, mom's doing her nails. Let's, let's leave her alone. Um, it's something I enjoy doing. Um, like I file my nails down. I'll try my best to keep my cuticles clean. I'm not the best, so I'm promising you right now or I'm letting you know right now, don't get on me if you see that my cuticles are not the best. I try. I always get asked, what's on your nails? What nail polish are you using? So I'm thinking like moving forward, I want to do where when I do paint my nails, I'm going to film it and just kind of upload it for you guys just so you guys can see. But I'm so excited to share this with you. They did also give me a discount code. They gifted me with these products. I can't wait to show you how to use everything. I will have my discount code um, linked down below. A couple things that I do want to say. So first, this is the end result. I did sort of like, it looks like a marbleized um, like pattern. And yes, there's a bit of a learning curve, but it's actually really fun and it's actually really quick because when you're stamping, you can get a whole design. Like you just, you apply it, you, you use a scraper and you just go like this and like, that's it. So, I mean, I probably spent maybe five minutes after I was done with the tutorial, like showing you guys to finish off the rest of my nails. Now, you will probably get some of the white nail polish around, you know, your cuticles. So the one thing I would recommend for that is, I've seen people put like maybe oil around that part of their hands, or some people use like, it looks like a nail polish and they paint it around their cuticles and then they peel it off, something like that might be useful but it's definitely fun i am so like obsessed with the way they look i almost feel like they look like you no know, one people put like they, they put it on and then they file it like it's already done and you stick it on but i don't know i can't stop looking at them i really like the way they look uh try your best to clean around it and then after you wash your hands a couple times like your hands will be clear so i promise you it's so easy and let me know if you guys do want to keep seeing uh nail tutorials okay so on with the tutorial. All right, so I have one coat of my OPI. This one is Berlin There Done That. So I just did one coat on all of my nails. I'm gonna do one nail because otherwise this is gonna be very time consuming. But let me show you what I have. I have the sticky base coat. I'm gonna put this on top of my nail. I have the white polish that I'm gonna use. This is for stamping, so it's thicker. It, you can't really use regular nail polish, it's not gonna work. I have my stamping plate. I think I'm gonna go for probably this one. I have the little stamper, which is cool that it's clear because when you put it over, you're able to kind of see your nail. Let me see if I can show you in an angle you could see. You'll be able to see the nail like once you apply the nail art. So it helps because it's like a little window. Huge improvement from what I've used in the past when it comes to nail stamping. Again, I am not a pro, but I do this at home because I just enjoy it. So I'm gonna take the sticky base coat and I have like paper here because I don't wanna damage my desk. And I'm going to just do a nice coat over my nails. While that's kind of drying, I'm gonna open this. So it's a thicker nail polish, and when you kind of like put it on, it almost looks like white out. It's very interesting. And I have a little scraper. So all you do is you get the polish, and you go over the area that you want to, like you want it to adhere to. Do like a nice coat. I'm gonna close that. You're gonna take this part and this, <laughs> and you are going to swipe across. 
take this to pick it up. And see how that transfers onto there. And we are going to just do it across. See how that is? And that's it. So I'm going for that kind of effect. It's like a crackle effect. And then I'm going to take the top coat. It's called the smudge free top coat. And I'm going to basically seal everything. I do my cleanup after. So see. So now I'm curious myself. Maybe you don't need the top, the sticky base coat to use it. So we're gonna try it again without it on my index finger. So same thing. This is so cool. It looks like it's marbleized. Um, all right, going back with this. Picking it up again. It sticks just as good. So I, I don't think you need the, the sticky top, uh, sticky base coat. I think you're fine if you don't get it. But from what I was reading, the sticky base coat might actually be good for chrome and foils and stuff like that. So that's really exciting. All right, let me show you how I clean up my mistakes. I have my acetone here. They also sent me this brush that's like angled. I'm gonna use that to clean up my mistakes. <laughs> so I load it up with acetone and I'm just gonna go around the nail. So I always like doing my nails at home. I just enjoy it more. Um, Cause I have better control. I don't know. It's kind of like therapy for me or it's like soothing or whatever. Um, so I enjoy it. You could, when you're using the stamp, by the way, if you get it everywhere, just use acetone and remove it because obviously I'm creating a little more work for myself doing it this way. I'm trying to be all like neat and stuff. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm just getting a paper towel and wiping it off. Uh, with acetone, it does leave your skin like a little bit powdery. So just wash your hands when you're done. So let's... Oh, I really hope this is coming into focus. That's kind of what it looks like. So I'm gonna finish this up and I'll show you guys the end result. So I realized as I'm editing the video for these nails, I never showed like the final result. This is about, I don't know, a day or two after and this is what it looks like. So it's still really, really nice. It looks like I put so much more work into it. The stamping is definitely super super easy so just wanted to show you that